appearance at the Shadow Lee Showdown, which he dominated against so many top Japanese. Daigo was notably absent, right. so this has not yet happened. One of the marquee matchups here. Daigo, obviously, the odds on favorite. He's one of the greatest Street Fighter players ever to live. He's been playing more than he's ever been playing. I feel he's been playing better than I've ever seen him play before. Yes. And he's playing one of the most, if not the most, dominant character in this game. Right. That's what I call Shin Daigo. <laughs> Very tough to handle. But if anybody, I think, has an amazing shot against him, I think it's Funko. Yeah, I mean, interestingly enough, Funko, I was even predicted, was not going to make top eight. We had the same discussion with David yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and he's here, and I love to see him because I do. The thing I said about Funko is he's got the skills to be absolutely right. anybody in the world. I wasn't sure he had the skills to go the tournament distance because he takes so many chances. But he's made it here, and let's see what Daigo has to say about this. I know Funko's been grinding. He's been streaming like 14 hours Street Fighter sessions online. So he's probably prepared for anything that anyone can bring him. But so you, got, you got to imagine that as much experience as Daigo has, is probably more than any in the world. Seth cannot be among his more experienced characters, not right. a popular guy in Japan. All right, everybody's been waiting for this matchup. Let's go. Let's get into it. Evolution 2011 World Finals. Let's see if Funko is not immune to nerves. Oh, wow. Daigo oh. saying, I can smell you a little bit off here. Nice. There's the randomness the from punch. Fungo. Oh, he fakes it out. Great timing, great timing there. I know he has a lot of anti-young tech. There he is again. Such a brutal guessing game from Seth. That's what it's all about. Front, back, high, low. Grab, empty, jump. Oh! Wow. Drops a little bit there. Oh, Maybe a big dizzy. stop. Dizzy. And Dago is dizzy. Oh, all dizzy. over him. And that's going to be the end. Yes, with the toe tap. Stop my feet, says Ruko. Round one to the Korean kid. Here he comes. Go. Nice follow on. Yeah, shoulder. And again, that's what makes Funko so dangerous. He's willing to uppercut at really any opportunity. <laughs> and we'll see what Daigo can do. Oh, he's, that, caught him. Good. he's gonna get some stumps right he's here. In the corner with the toe taps. And the crowd chanting along overhead. Oh wow. Oh, nice. uh -oh, oh Daigo with a back dash. No right into confirmed. execution error there. Oh wow, read it all the way. And there's that cross up. Wow, smart stuff by Daigo. Oh, again, yeah. starts oh, he missed it. An error. And Kuko is going to take game one. So Daigo went for the close stand strong into the EX punch punch, which is actually a lot harder than it looks. He's got to take half a step before he does the stand strong, otherwise, it won't combo into the EX one punch. And he dropped it there. Almost facing the focus attack. Oh, wow. Notice smart focus to predicting that Pierce gets in there, not able to do any damage. Who dashes forward and uppercuts dive kicks? I'll tell you who. <laughs> His name is Kuko. You may have heard of him here at the Evolution 2011 World Oh, Finals. great bait! Great bait! And he is all over the beast here. This is unbelievable. Hey! Hey! Dizzy! He's going to be dizzy very soon. Okay, I, never mind. I think they may have to take the title. Who may show you away and give it to Kuko after a match like this? Oh, match point, oh, Kuko. If you can't fall dizzy because you died, that's just fine by Punko. Catch really burn the EX to keep the combo going? Yes, yeah, he does. Really styling. Stop, 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 dive. What's going to be? Oh. Nice stop. Uh, he is working on a perfect against Daigo in the heart of the beast. Good cross up and another brilliant read from Punko. This is unprecedented. We can no, I've been dizzy. This is going to be it. A perfect. With a perfect knocking Daigo into the loser's bracket. Blowing up the beast. We have never seen a beating like that in Daigo history. Wow, people picking him up, his crew, cheering him on. It seems as though the tournament is already over, judging by the reactions from this crowd. And the crowd has adopted their coach just like that, James. never seen anything like that before. I've never seen Daigo so fundamentally dominated and so carefully read. He, he didn't just get blown up by all of uh, Fuko's good guesses. Fuko baited out Daigo's own bad guesses. Right. And that is a scary thing. And so you're losing on both sides. Yeah, I mean, the, fun, the, the, the best part about it is you're saying, like, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Like, Fuko made all the right guesses, but at that point, when he made so many correct ones in a row, you can't call them guesses anymore. They're reads now. <laughs> and, and, this, and this style of play almost fundamentally changes the game. 